welcome back to my channel. This week we are in the kitchen and we're making guacamole. So let's get started. These are my ingredients and what I'll be using. First and foremost, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands and your ingredients prior to use. We're gonna hop right in and start with our avocados. We're gonna cut them in half. Once we get them cut in half, we will twist it and it should look like this. Next, we are going to score our avocado and doing this step just makes it easier to remove later. We're gonna remove our pit and score the other side. Side note that I use four avocados in my recipe. Next, we're gonna grab our spoon and scoop out our avocado and place it in our bowl. Once you're finished, it should look like this. We're gonna do the same with the other half of the avocado. And once it's all done, we're going to grab our lime and roll it. You must have fresh lime juice, it's key. Next step, we're going to smash our avocado. And this is totally your preference. Some people like their guacamole to be chunky and some people like their guacamole to be smooth. So your call on how you like your guacamole. Then we're going to grab our lime and squeeze it inside. This is done so your guacamole does not turn brown. We're gonna hop over and grab our first ingredient which is our red onion. And I used about a fourth of an onion. We're going to cut it into slices. Hey, Trey, turn me up. And then we will chop our lives away. You're going to chop your onion to the, the size of your liking. Once it's where you like it, you're going to put it to the side. In my case, on another chopping board. Next, we're gonna to move to our green bell pepper. And I use one side of a green bell pepper. I did the same steps, cut it into slices, and then diced it to my liking. And look at those cutting skills. Perfect. Put that to the side, and then we're gonna move on to our jalapeno pepper. I use one jalapeno, and I cut that in half. You wanna make sure that you remove your seeds. Then repeat the same process as before. Cut into slices and then dice away. Also, another side note, make sure you watch your fingers when you're cutting. We don't need accidents while making guacamole. Last but not least, we're at our last ingredient the tomatoes. You're going to remove the seed, seeds, and then slice. And then chop them, slash dice them to the size that you want them to be. After we're done with that, we're going to put it to the side, grab our bowl with the avocado and lime juice. We're going to get our seasoning, mine is sea salt and pepper. You can judge it off of your taste of how much you want to put in there. 
then we're going to one by one add our ingredients and it should look like this last but not least we're going to mix it all together let those flavors marry and be flavorful and it should look like this make sure you do a little dance because it's going to be lovely this is a close-up view of my guacamole again Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share.